Ugh. I mean, you, you still wear the sock, though, right? Oh, you're supposed to wear the sock? And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin Stone here in beautiful downtown Athens, switching the bits, running the choo-choo train of nightmares known as Linux Gamecast Weekly. My lovely little studio. And up north, we got Jordan Swang in Ontario'sville's Sixtanshire. Yes. Yeah, in right in the middle of Manitoba. 100%. <laughs> and on the Isles of Britannia, far enough away from Wales where he's able to sleep at night. Juan Pedro, Mateus, and together with you, Shadow Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Now, if you're I watching thought- the... Uh, live stream we, we we had an impromptu uh w- there was like a one ai song generation service started up then another one did and i, I tried the other one because i wanted to be like oh the other one's too popular let me try this one so we had like a <laughs> cocaine voltron it's like let's just punch in some lyrics and pedro's like i need that for a ringtone <laughs> yeah no i my my work phone needs a new <laughs> ringtone and that's just <laughs> and, and, and the real reason is he just wants to fuck nori <laughs> When you said he was when you said he was far enough for Wales, I thought you were going to end that sentence with like, so Spock's not going to try and touch him inappropriately. No, Spock got lost, dude. He was trying to read those road signs, and he was yeah. amazing. He'll, you'll never see him again. Yeah, yeah. No, you can read the road signs here. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? What's new? We got a lot of stuff to cover tonight. Uh, at first, you know we have a YouTube channel, right? YouTube.com slash Linux Gamecast. No, Ford slash yeah. Linux Gamecast. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, do, do do we or do we not have the ad? I don't know. It's the ads for the new scrub people. We we, uh, we have a, a, a mature legacy. Uh, we, we 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 have the grandfather yeah. clause. Yes, no 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 ads for us. No ads for us. And um, I was thinking about that Thanks earlier. Thanks to our Patreon. Week. No ads for us. Hey. Ah. Boom! You can get to download the highest quality of the show. Ah. I don't mean that because I encode that damn thing every week. It looks better than the YouTube version. It has better audio. Trust me. Um. I was thinking about that this week, man. How many times have you had to take a bet? We had to do the Pepsi challenge in the 12, 12 years? How long, Timekeeper Pedro? <laughs> We're coming in on 11 years. 11 years? Okay. Yes. Decade plus that we've been doing this show. Uh, under and over, have we mentioned that we even have a YouTube channel? Would it be more than 10 times or less than 10 times? I, I would say more, more than, than 10, <laughs> more than 10, but not like less than 50, I would say. Yeah, no, it's not a lot, but it's more than 10. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if I was going to say more than 10, I, you might get me up to 15 with a hard bargain, like during the show. <laughs> we were, we were streaming on YouTube for a while. So like yeah, when we, we, we mentioned definitely that, definitely didn't mention it when we were on YouTube because <laughs> we were there, right? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, saying we're live on YouTube implies that we have a YouTube channel. I guess we're not specifically saying the words YouTube.com slash ah, it's not explicit. Cast. It's implicit. Okay, we're, yeah, if we're not trying to get out of it. Okay, let's uh, we move all of those, though. Like, bringing up, like, <laughs> hey, visit our YouTube channel, which you're already on. I don't know. reason I, I bring I that like, up, ladies and gentlemen, I gave you your chance, man. I gave you your chance. Uh, I got another YouTube channel called Interfacing Linux. and if you get a chance, you want to help old man Ven out. We're trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. Doesn't cost anything. And no, stop typing right now because somebody right now is getting ready to type out their mothering manifesto of all the hoops that they go through to watch YouTube without using YouTube or having a YouTube account. I've already gotten that email. Okay. Because I brought this <laughs> call, up. Call, calling some folks out, huh? I'm just saying that somebody went, wait, wait, whoa, um, hmm. If you do happen to have a YouTube account, you want to help me out. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers on the Interfacing Linux YouTube channel, interfacinglinux.com. It's in the share button, or you just type in Interfacing Linux on YouTube, put it up, smash that subscribe. You can disable the damn bell. We just want to get to a thousand because that is going to get that algorithm to go, ah, uh, because we got hit Tuesday night for that uh, Intel Arc video. Hockey stick, man. Hard. And it stayed like that for a day and a half. Like it went from like 300 views to 11,000. And we went from 100 subscribers to 600. You know, I want to push it over a thousand going way ahead of schedule. I spent most of this week doing cleanup on the website because I 
haven't even officially launched Interfacing Linux yet. That was supposed to be for this guy that I'm working on. That was going to be like, hey, I got enough content together. It's all there. Hey, go check it out. By the way, I knew this is going to get like 3,000 views. It got a bit accelerated. So uh, yeah, if you could, you, you want to help me out. I very much appreciate it. So I still didn't mention our YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> You you mentioned the, you mentioned the other YouTube. Yes. Also, we have another other YouTube, the Live and Uncut, the Extras channel. So mm -hmm. have fun. Yeah. How about you, Pedro Mateus? Uh, when was the last time you clicked subscribe? Why are pe people get like different? Moments. Somebody's like, "Hey, man, can you subscribe?" I'm like, "Sure, click." Some people are like, "I don't know, man." Like, let, let, we, let's have a discussion about that because I'm kind of I'm like, just click the fucking button. <laughs> I, I, I can see that a little bit because I do curate my subscriptions okay, now, list. Now, in fairness, me and you were talking to this person. They're like, I don't know, man. They have 900 subscriptions. Yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I have like 70 channels that I'm subscribed to. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I, I, I can see that the whole, uh, okay, I, I'm only going to subscribe to channels I actually watch the videos of, and I do a good job of watching most everything that those channels put out. Not everything, Escapist, uh, not Escapist anymore, Second Wind, <laughs> some of those shows, eh, I watch most of them, but some of them, eh, the backdrop, for example, I don't. <laughs> That's all Pedro's up to. How about you, Jordan? Oh, man, I, right? I, I, had, I, had to, I had to, I had to get reintroduced to the, the Are you going to get a pillowcase for that pillow, man? <laughs> no. <laughs> ne never. I, I tried pillow. <laughs> That's yeah. The, the you, it's got it's got to absorb the, the the sweat and the dead skin from my face because that's exactly who you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, you ever like uh, you like pull that off? Like somebody oxes you? Like let's just put that cover back on. Ah, yeah. Didn't need to see that. All right. Honestly, the dog uses that pillow more okay. than me. That, right. that, that 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 that's her pillow. Um, You've been playing no, Outer Worlds, man. I was, uh, but before. Yeah, and uh, that, that, that's been that's been interesting. I haven't really like played a Fallout. I, I tried. I, I mentioned that in the stream. I tried a little bit of New Vegas, but then at the very beginning of the game, I shot a chicken, and everyone took exception to that. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. And then then I put the game down. And isn't I never that kind of like a general rule in Bethesda games? Even I know not to fuck with chickens and. Well, games, yeah, dude. like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, chickens well, like, in Skyrim used to report your crimes. <laughs> yeah, pr pr pretty much, right? Like, but like I did this very early on, and I like I didn't even intentionally do it, and like everyone started shooting at me, and I'm like, okay, maybe we'll take another crack at this some other time. But uh, no, I was, but like uh, I know that Avowed is in development, the uh, the game that is going to be using the same engine, but it's in the Pillars of Eternity universe. All so right. my main motivation was I wanted to see what the game actually feels and plays like. The other thing that happened to me this week was I had to get reacquainted with the commute. I had to spend an hour on the subway uh, this week. Ooh. Bo both ways. Both ways. Back, was it uphill at any point? Yes. <laughs> In oh. the snow. <laughs> yes. Ooh. No, no snow. No snow. It's, 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 it's oh, man. It, 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 it has been snowing for like the complete ass end of March into like April. And it's like, are you going to stop? Maybe kind of. It's raining now. But it might start snowing again. <laughs> and every time it starts, you're like, fuck, am I going to have to shovel? And then in the morning, it's just all wet. And you're like, okay, thank God. Fuck. Oh, dude, it's like finally chilled out here because it got like hot. Then it's like it's doing that perfect temperature thing, which is the signal to it's about to get fuck you hot and stay that way. Mm. Quite unfortunate. So how was the subway trip? Did you meet any interesting characters upon your journeys? No, I Boring did not. Boring as hell. Did you bring your Steam Deck? I did not bring my Steam Deck on the subway because... Uh. I was going to a gym afterwards and I did not want to brisk. You, you know, so you posted that video in yep. Discord of that guy yep. dropping the weight uh, on his phone. 100%. I, yeah, I did not want that to happen. I, I had to go. So yeah, I, I went to a like a like a public gym for the first time since the fucking pandemic. That was that was a weird experience. Um I all I also discovered that I have turned into the gym old man. You know the kind, the guy. What, who you does clean not care. your bench and wipe it down? <laughs> I clean my bench, I wipe it down, I took a shower, and I learned that I have no shame in the change room. Oh. You, I, 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 <laughs> I guess, oh, I, guess I know. Bits. <laughs> I am, it turns out I am no longer ashamed of my body. And being a married man, I don't have to impress anyone I anymore. Mean, you, so wait, like, yeah. I mean, you, you still wear the sock though, right? Oh, you're supposed to wear the sock? Yes. Uh-oh. In polite society, man. Uh, yeah. But no, that, that's outside the change room. Inside the change room, you don't need to wear the sock, right? The horse never forgets its sock. I don't want 
want to talk about the horse's sock. That is that is a very different podcast. <laughs> I'll just say that it's the Steve. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, boys and horsey, girls. Oh, horsey, horsey, bun socks. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nay means maybe. Got a couple of new games for you this week. Fresh on the steamy thing. Starting off with Slay the Spire, not one, but two. Prepare to get angsty and wait for it because that ain't coming out until 2025. You know it, you love it. If you're into Slay the Spire, this is the sequel to the one that said Slay the Spire. It wasn't one. They weren't that pretentious. The iconic roguelike. It's a deck builder, which means I don't care about it, but Jordan Pedro kind of dug it. 2025 is our release date. That's the plan things. They're going to do the you know early access with this, so you're probably going to be able to get a taste early on. No system requirements, and like, hey, it's been rebuilt from the ground up. Why'd you mention that, Vin? Well, there's a little bit of a story behind that. Uh, the developers Once upon behind, a time, there was a company called <laughs> Unity. Right. <laughs> and uh, they did the uh, Unity thing of like, hey, we would like to actually fuck all of our paying customers. That'd be dope. So uh, we're going to rewrite things and we want residuals on the back end for stuff that you've already agreed. And like everyone went like, what do you do? Like, we're all still waiting. Like, that, what, what were you trying to do here? That was never going to work. A lot of, a lot of studios, they waited for that to blow over. You know, they did the rah, rah, we're going to change and do something else. And, you know, they're like, and we're going back to Unity. Y'all going to get fucked eventually. Like, it's just a matter of time because Unity started that red flag producing factory. Mega crit, they looked at that and they went. We need to take action on this. They pieced out. Where do you go? Well, yeah, you got a whole lot of options, you know, but fortunately for them, Godot was a good fit. So that's where they bounced over. And that's what we're going to be seeing for Slay the Spire 2, which I'm going to say good on them. Um, yeah. We got any thoughts about this? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I do. <laughs> Hope, hopefully, um, because it's an open source engine, we're going to start seeing some upstream work from um, the mega crit guys if they come up with some neat things or other enhancements for Godot or fix any problems that they run into. They can put that shit upstream and then other people can benefit from the work, makes Godot a better solution going forward. And if more people start doing this, then that could actually accelerate Godot into something of an actual competitor to say Unreal. Uh, yeah, they, and, st- and they still have a ways to go, but you know, once you once Slate you get Aspire, on it. as uh, indie games go, Slate Aspire is a pretty big one. So that would be having a that high profile a game using Godot and having a bunch of people playing the game while it's in use. Yes, more of that, please. Just it helps both Godot themselves create a better product, and it helps the users because hey it's a pretty open engine and it doesn't have uh shit monetization and installation fees <laughs> don't get any ideas <laughs> no it's very very robust web support so like being able to just like publish your game as a browser app yes yeah it opens it up for like basically any platform right if it has a browser you can play they the gotta game. get more people there they're gonna build up the knowledge base you know that is the uh you know time spent trying to figure out uh that as a common complaint i see in our game dev like i know what i need to do i just can't figure out the right moon glyphs to punch in to get the answer of how do i do it in ghetto so mm-hmm. that's what's being worked on that's good good on them um i heard once that dave was in fact not here man <laughs> you want to you want a butt ache well, uh, he's back, and he's uh, brought his uh, fun algebra class in remastered algebra? fashion. Ooh. Algebra. 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 Algebra, the children algebra. of the world. <laughs> so how do you say it, then? N- n- nungebra or algebra. <laughs> Al- algebra, as in Algeria. Algebra? Well, okay. I, I, what, what it's like, um, what the, the, it's from the, the, like the, the Arabic, like, al to reveal, so, like, I don't know. I, all right. Uh, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's there. Uh, it's uh, trippy as balls. It's, it gives me the, uh, we were talking about uh, <laughs> old operating systems earlier. Why uh, is my screensaver Windows, on drugs? Yeah, the Windows Maze screensaver. Uh, the, them vibes are strong with this one. Uh, and I don't know if the game itself is 4x3, because the trailer isn't 4x3, but it's free, so you can you just know what? try I would, it on free yourself. I would appreciate that. <laughs> I would appreciate that. Like, the, uh, you put it in 4K, it's still 4x3, you put it in ultra-wide, it's still 4x3, because, like, it's artistic design choice. Yeah, you know you put no, it, but enough. you put it in 4x3, and then it goes, like, ultra-wide screen, like cinema, like... Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm down with it, man. Uh, you know, it's, it's apparently been remastered. And Jordan, you can chime in with this because I, I went digging around. I'm like, is this like a beloved, you know, Newgrounds Web 1.0 type thing that I just completely escaped me? Because it kind of looks like it. Uh... Yeah. So the original is based off of Baldi's Basics, which is an independent survival horror education parody it's game done by a guy named, yeah, name, uh, made by a guy named Miss Man 12, a.k.a. No, Mike, those are uh, chairs. Mandel. Damn. All right. Yeah. So, the, yes. so uh, this is actually this is from 2009. So it's not quite early web, mm. uh, but but it it, it was a game. Uh, you can actually play it online at uh, baldygames.com in a browser. Speaking, it's up. also on Steam. Um, now I have it, questions. It, it, this game is similar to Shredder's Revenge and Ion Fury. It is <laughs> well. So it it, it it is a survival horror game technically. Okay. So retro style graphics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sort sort of. Any any OpenGL 3.2 or Vulkan compatible GPU can run it. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, this was supposed to be originally it was like a parody of like education games that also involved a little bit of math to do in in the, in the in the same vein, I guess. But <laughs> I, it's 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 available on on the Steam OS now, so that's that's good. You can you can do you can you can play on your Steam Deck in class in math class, and then when your teacher yells at you, you can be like, "No, I'm doing math." <laughs> this is educational you, you know what if you gotta have like you want to get a game for your kid and you gotta have that compromise with your wife and it's gotta be educational break out some shit like this <laughs> yeah or, this is or, the or, deranged or, the truly deranged edutainment no no i, I think i think <laughs> the uh the next game is probably what you want for the edutainment do what you want because a pirate is free oh yeah <laughs> Besiege. You, you might besieged. know it. It's, it's your favorite game where you can build a robot that masturbates and ejaculates fire on top of all of the little villagers <laughs> in their thatched roof cottages. Um, you need a they, game to do that. I mean, without get, without getting some police very mad at you. Uh. Um, but yeah, um, you you might remember it from back in 2015 when the memes were everywhere. The game proper actually came out in 2020, and they have a new update. They've been working for three years on a fluid dynamic system that actually, and I mean, like to actually shovel in fluid dynamics into an existing physics sandbox game can't be easy. So kudos on that. Um, but they're adding stuff like submarines and sharks and pirate ships and krakens. You gotta have those krakens, man. Um, but they're 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 adding uh, a new water campaign. They're adding um, they're adding a bunch of new pieces for making boats and having naval combats. Uh, and it's also coming to the multiplayer engine and. I, I, I guess I would imagine like it just increases the, the CPU requirements of the host of the multiplayer server because now you got to simulate an entire ocean as well. So I don't care. <laughs> Give me this shit like this, this, this murder pixels on the high seas, man. Like if we got multiplayer with this, like drill ships, fuck yes, catapults. And you can attack <laughs> it. If you could be on bases and we could play it like, oh, motherfucker, this is block flags. This is the game everybody wished Ubisoft would can make. And it's going to be an expansion to the real thing. Very excited about this. And this trailer just makes me want to get murdering May 24th when this comes out. Very, very This is an very educational excited. game. Now, uh, like no joke, Besiege, Besiege is 449 right now. Just fucking run it because we're going to. Okay, let's be honest. I want to imagine we're going to play the absolute shit out of this game. What will probably happen is the three of us will get together. <laughs> we will spend 30 to 45 minutes in our little hidey holes building our ships. And we'll go to attack each other. One of our ships will somehow just fall over in the ocean. The other one will just <laughs> fall the yes. fuck apart. And the third person will end up blowing themselves up and will never touch it. However, right. <laughs> No, I, I I very much look forward to other YouTubers uh, doing the like recreations, the machinima recreations of famous naval battles in Besiege. So like, let's yes, fucking please. go submarines, <laughs> like uh, dude. Uh, if this thing even remotely plays like the online aspects of like like if they could build a persistent online world, I'd like probably give them five bucks a month to play this. Um, <laughs> but what George says. MMO. Not joking around, not being facetious when he says this is an educational game. You can get into some legitimate engineering. This is like Kerbal Space Program, but with Stabby. Yeah, th th with, with, yes. a higher, with a much higher body count. Right. <laughs> uh, the point here is to kill and destroy things, yes. <laughs> which is a very effective learning tool, so it turns out. <laughs> Absolutely, 100%. I, I, first time playing the game probably spent a solid two two and a half hours murdering villagers man i was like you give me a puzzle game that involves murdering are you kidding me yes so stay tuned for that later this month 
Wait, yeah. What month is it? Is it March? Uh, this is still April. Uh, so uh, damn, it's still April. So end next, of next month. month. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Pedro, what did you think of the uh, Fallout television series on Amazon? Oh, I have opinions. I I, I thought the show in itself was you made uh, it like and, halfway through the first episode, cut it off. Uh, no, 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 no. I watched account. the whole thing, and uh, I have opinions about oh, it. It's a very entertaining TV show. But uh, what you watched the whole episode? Yes, the whole episode and the rest of the whole episodes, all eight of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you hate watch it? Uh, no, no, no. It, it it is legitimately an entertaining TV show as a like B sci fi ish. So, um, yeah, it looked like it's pretty, like, the pretty choice. low budget, low rent production, right? Uh, not very uh, low I budget, th- but <sighs> it is uh, it 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 has that vibe, and it works. It it it, it is a, absolutely an, an entertaining TV show. It just takes some liberties with the source material because it's Bethesda. So. <laughs> Well, the, as, um, as the current stewards of the source material, unfortunately, they're in a situation where everything they say is canon, just like Star Wars. So, yes. Star Trek, so. <laughs> but yeah, uh, speaking of Bethesda, they're actually doing a, a bit of a upgrade, uh, next gen update, remaster, whatever you want to call it for Fallout 4. We can't re-release Skyrim again, so please download our game. Oh, they can. They probably will. But <laughs> this one's for Fallout 4. It's, yeah, it's the next-gen update. Uh, it's coming April 25th. And, of course, uh, they are trying to uh, keep it playable on the Steam Deck by making it verified. Uh, the that They're bringing more um, of what they call the uh, Creation Club, which is just paid mods. But they're uh, bringing the uh, the paid mods. Um, if you have a Bethesda Net account, which I still don't <laughs> to this day. Well, I mean, ne- uh, neither, neither do the people in China, honestly, because that they, yes. they're fixing it with that. But the big thing, getting as as Ven was highlighting on the screen, Steam Deck verification, it's coming. That is uh, that is the the important bit. Otherwise, we wouldn't be talking about it. But yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's just Fallout Four, and it's going to have possibly the same level of uh engine upgrade well even probably not as big not as uh jarring a difference from uh, the original skyrim to the dx12 or the x11 version but it is why did people like fallout 76 so much more than fallout 4 they didn't <laughs> i'd say the popular opinion is that fallout 76 was uh, considerably worse to a degree. Uh, nowadays, I'd say there's probably more people playing uh, Fallout 76 because it's an online game and there's the MMO interactivity type of situation going. So there's probably so, uh, l- 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 more let me ask you this then. 76. What, what, what's the better love story? Fallout 76 or Starfield? Fallout 76. All right. Starfield send, uh, send, basically send repeated a lot of the mistakes of Fallout 76. And... Um, it made it single player, so you don't even have the multiplayer element Still, to though, try and I rescue mean, it a little you, bit. You, get, you gotta give Amazon and Bethesda, like, fucking props for that last episode, that last shot in the Fallout series with a dude waking up in that cart. Yeah, I <laughs> finally woke up. Like, <laughs> I, I swear, I swear, they gotta do you, some you shit you like that. You got my attention yeah. for series two, dude, like... <laughs> Rolling hard, man. Rolling Actually, hard. there's an after the credits uh, scene for the last episode of the season. Uh, it's not uh, Rayloff saying that you're finally awake, which was disappointing, but there is something there. Yeah, you hear it's a, Parthenax. In, He's it, there in the background. You just quietly hear Disco Inferno playing. <laughs> yes, right, Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> That's All gonna right. do it for our updates for this week. Now we need to talk about everybody's favorite. Desktop compositing system X12. Wait, they didn't name it that. That would have been too popular. It used adoption. D- no. That's DX12. Right. Yes, it's week number two in a row of talking about uh, vertical sync. Yes, uh, we we mentioned last week that uh, Joshy uh, Joshua Ashton uh, brought up the fact that it, for SDL3 it was defaulting to Wayland, so he wanted to revert that because there was no proper way to do vsync um on wayland yet and that brought up 
a number of issues, which uh, Xaver's blog here is explaining. It's like, okay, there is no explicit way of doing V-Sync in Wayland. The drivers don't support it. Uh, the compositors uh, didn't really support it. Uh, so, well, after Joshi kind of got the ball rolling, uh, and if he wasn't my favorite froggy boy, he certainly is now, uh, now everyone's paying attention to it. Uh, NVIDIA has uh, released drivers um, to support it. A bunch of the current Wayland compositors have introduced changes to support proper um, explicit VSync. So it's it's good. And if you want a, a good breakdown of why the old implicit model that used to be used for OpenGL can't be used nowadays for Wayland or stuff like Vulkan, it's a, it's a very good read. It's because it's, it's Linux and we break shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just <laughs> like you Limp do. <laughs> Limp Bizkit us. Yeah, no, but again, more more pieces of the puzzle are being chipped away. Uh, the NVIDIA support is finally maturing to a point where people are going to be able to like actually use Wayland on the desktop. If you're in uh, if you're in NVIDIA land and you don't need any like accessibility tooling, uh, but that's still that's still being worked on as well. So we're we're getting we're getting closer and closer, uh, and it's good to see that everyone is now starting to get on board and synchronizing their efforts. And, you know, actually ma ma making it a real thing, centralizing around protocols and yeah, yeah, solid. I'm down with it's it. Very good. <laughs> good to see. Uh, hopefully when, when are we going to have like, okay, never's the correct answer, but <laughs> when are we going to have like outside of like edge case nitpicking, like just Wayland, it's going to work everything. We're pretty I close. We're, yeah, I don't think we're very far off. Um, it, it, it is all like relatively minor stuff. Aside, well, there, there, mean, there, are, there are a few if you big stick pieces, but with the blinders of like desktop usage, yes. The second you get off the desktop usage, because in all fairness, that's where most of the development has been going for like just standard desktop usage in Wayland, because mm -hmm. uh, that's where most of the users are. But the second you get off that path, then lists start showing up. <laughs> I, I, th I, th I, think going for, I think for like animation and shit i think it's also fair barely we have most most coverage which is i think the animation these days. yeah like uh for <laughs> for art for uh digital art workstations and stuff like getting all those apps and stylus handling and all that crap oh yeah they might yeah, like and like input whatever <laughs> red hat switches to whalen but <laughs> the, the next release yeah yeah supposedly it's going to be the next release yes <laughs> You might see, uh, yeah, with commercial software, you're not going to see Wayland supporting commercial software for a long time. Axe Wayland isn't going anywhere. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to have to worry about it, but like, that's a constant thing with like digital audio workstations, DaVinci Resolve, and, you know, Maya and stuff like that. Because you go read the forums and you can find the people from the companies going, what? <laughs> I mean, I, I, th I think once Red Hat makes the switch, once that, that's, that's going to be the big one, I think. Uh, once whatever the current version is goes EOL, yeah, and they have to buy a new version of Red Hat to get support. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we can we can go to we can go to Rocky. You know, people are going to try to push that through, uh, and they're really? like, yeah, it's like, look how much Although money we our, can save. Uh, I don't remember if it was Rocky or if it was all Linux that uh, is on Wayland now. Oh, so you, you can't you can't even <laughs> escape. Oh, oh, I know. I, I, I saw it. someone I on Mastodon talking about how one of them—I can't remember which—but they're using Wayland now. So, uh, yeah, you might I, not I, have a solution. The, the, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I will say the utility of using the desktop on like CentOS, unless you need that rock stable workstation because you're managing like several million. Seats if you or have whatever. workstations, yes. Yeah. If you're running uh, commercial uh, software, you're going to be running Red Hat, or uh, yeah. that is is because that's what. Support. That's what's licensed. Yeah, certified yeah, for it. Yeah. You fucking call up tech support and you say, I'm running Debbie. And they're like, ha ha, bye, click. <laughs> or you pay Canonical instead and you run Ubuntu LTS. <laughs> if the software is certified for it. Like, they, they don't fuck around, yes. dude. <laughs> they don't fuck. And I get it because that's how what I've, I've been that way with like fucking video games, too. Let's get back on topic there about, you know, like, fuck this fragmentation shit. Make sure it work, works on one. Let everybody yeah. else figure it out. And it doesn't have to be, you know, as long as it's Debian, and we're fine. There won't be any problems. <laughs> no, it sure needs to run on a certain version of Arch Linux. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. what are those little dorky underpowered handhelds like you have? <laughs> <laughs> you can install Manjaro instead. The, the popular Linux gaming console, yes. <laughs> How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> and of course, I'm speaking of League of Legends, ladies and gentlemen. And more importantly, Vanguard. You might have heard that <laughs> name before. Why? Because it's synonymous with anti-cheat, and that's what Riot's putting in the League. Of legend now why are we talking about this well they got an update it's coming down it's gonna happen y'all know about vanguard well maybe you might even if you don't listen up it's their new business and it's supposed to be more fairly secure than their existing system and look they got charts and shit so you know you know they're serious games with a cheater weekly subscribe to the <laughs> newsletter it's great you know what Script or effect, rate games with a, you know, whatever, whatever. Why are we talking about this? Why? Well, if I hit control F, what about Linux? Anti-cheat on Linux, not good friends. Mortal enemies, you might say. Up until very, very recently when we started getting support, official support for easy anti-cheat and uh, Battle Battle.net. Battle.net, yes. Battle.net Battle yeah. is the Activision client. The battle one, <laughs> that one. Well, battle there's a little, little bit of a cue here. What about Linux? Well, this new Vanguard thing, am I going to be able to play my lulz? And they're like, we've never officially supported, so that's no with a bunch of extra fucking words at the end of that um, <laughs> when, you, when you read that. However, they give the uh, old lupus a shout out, because it's true that the current Lutris-based implementation for League, which uses wine, will not be able to satisfy mm, the Vanguard driver requirements. Linux does not afford blah, 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 blah. They did some maths, crunched some numbers. Turns out 800 Linux users were playing League. <sighs> what a loss that bet. That's more. <laughs> what would you have thought? Uh, it's about Trivedi, maybe, on high end? I, I would I would have been around like a thousand-ish, yeah. Yeah, a thousand would have been my guess. So, yeah, a little bit under that. All right. I, I would have went, like, much lower, but, I mean, it's a free game. So, like, Will and Wayne, like, I never yeah. underestimate a good crippling addiction to a video game right right uh they crunch those numbers and they're like nah <laughs> and, and and to 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 that point they're like they're like well what about mac and they're like no it's fucking use the mac so right, give the a shit here, right yeah yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So, so i mean to to linux's favor i mean at least we registered on that they're like yeah no no one's chicken and egg on the mac right now uh so again never supported linux in the first place but I, i'll at least say they took the time to write a, Two little paragraphs of saying, get wrecked, Linux users. <laughs> Not our problem. We'd never supported I Linux. I wish they would have written and, that. <laughs> um, well, I mean, if you're going to be willing to install this level of anti-cheat on your fucking system, this perpetual <laughs> always on, like, digging deep in those guts, always hanging around. There's like one of the, hey, why is this always on? They're like... It's not really always it, on it just, when it it's just always sits in memory. on. Yeah, it's, like, it's always mean, running, but it's not running. If you're comfortable <laughs> running that type of shit to play a fucking video game on your operating system, just go ahead and install Windows, man. Like, do it. Yeah, what? what they're, 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 they're saying what? Like one in fifteen games, they're they're flagging a cheater, and like ten percent of all master ranked. Yeah, it's a games. free to play game. I mean, yeah, 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 the, yeah, the yeah opportunity that, that cost like is a fundamental nothing. problem with the game itself. Oh, ab 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 absolutely. Same. The 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 the, <laughs> the issue is they can't validate the uh, they can't validate the commands being hand submitted to the server because they do bring up that like most of the shit is actually running on the server. The problem is they can't validate what are legitimate inputs and what aren't because they don't. Seems sign like their a fundamental problem with the fucking video yeah. game. If you ask no, the, me, yeah, it's it's. <laughs> It's called it's called it's called input signing and validation. There's shit they can do about it, but they don't want to. So, well, what um, about the uh, new monitor? Who was it? Uh, is it, oh, was yeah, it Acer uh, or Acer? Yeah, where 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 it actually looks at the screen and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. The, the text built into the monitor itself. Is completely yeah, there, 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 there's AI shit in there. And so so the other thing too is that this is entirely FTPM based implementation. So part of the reason why Linux can't be supported is while there is an FTPM implementation under Linux. Um, you know, oh, this shit needs TPM 2.0 too. Yeah, it, it mm -hmm. does. Yeah. And to the, to the, to the point where like there are windows 11 machines that will not be able to play league of legends as a result of this, because the, they are either missing the TPM 2.0 module or the TPM 2.0 module they have is like some weird third party one. Um, so like, so, so I, I, again, the, their, their whole notion is we can't validate commands coming from our clients. So our only solution is we have to monitor every single client and be able to uniquely tag every ID every single instance so that we can ban them if they're cheaters. Because the, their, their, their logic is if you're connecting it to it with a TPM 
uh, secured PC, we can identify you and ban your thing permanently because it's totally not easy to just, you know, generate a new MAC address, a new ID or anything. Yeah. I bet I could solve uh, 80% of their um, cheating problem. <laughs> Make people pay 10 uh, bucks. No, fuck that. 90, 99p. <laughs> Pence, Pedro. No. Yeah. But can Ooh. we all agree on at least one thing? Fuck cheaters in online games. Oh, yeah. Yes. And that's why something like cheat, uh, <laughs> this is Toxic DB, Cheat Spy is the name of the fucking story. Uh, Toxic DB <laughs> exists. Uh, and it is a uh, it is a database where you can support uh, or rather you can submit uh, individuals. Yes, you can support who, uh, your favorite cheaters. Support <laughs> I your love favorite. It. Well, Let's make support it. your favorite games by reporting cheaters. No. There we go. Uh, so, hell, we need crowd. We 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 need fucking uh, no 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 we, we, we need to have someone go and like jerk off all the cheaters and whisper in their ear. Oh, you're such a big fucking man. You're such a big man. You're such a good person at video games. Oh my god, you're the best. But you but know, then until, it'd be until, like until, you try to take a poop. That's yeah. weird. Let's not do that. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, I, 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 I think it's perfectly appropriate. But until we can get to that desirable moon future, we're going to have to report people and submit them to a database. Um, a lot of the evidence collection is based off of Leadify, where you can post replays and the like. Uh, you can like tag people as cheaters. Biter. Yeah, uh, you can tag them as uh, cheaters and racists. That seem to be the most of the people who are uh, cheaters, uh, racists, uh, sexist, boosters, and... Uh... That was another type that I'm forgetting. Yeah, Somewhere. but uh, but yeah, you can you can you can look at the you can look at the replays if the game supports uh, exporting like the full on video. You can see for yourself. And yeah, they uh, there 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 is there is some level of verification in place to verify that like this person is guilty of what they're being accused of. Um, and yeah, if you're going to be a consistently a jerk to people online, you know, people are going to start talking, right? And it's only a matter of time before before someone puts together a list. This is that list. I, I very much agree with the name and shame wall of fame concept or wall of infamy as the case may be. I, I scroll down until I found the one with the most things. Uh, there's someone here who is a cheater, racist, and sexist. And uh, I, yeah, I, no, there's Did, 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 a did you search for yourself? I searched I did, for all of it us. Didn't I show up. <laughs> I, yeah, no, no, none of us showed up. So we are, we are morally superior individuals yes. <laughs> then again we don't play counter-strike 2 so there's that <laughs> yeah i mean like n none of this survives morally Call of Duty superior anything, right morally <laughs> superior uh you know what i i'm i'm down with something like this uh just but then again i mean you're dealing with like you know the only, the only thing i fucking care about is like people cheating in online games like whatever like people have been ass clowns on fucking video games since jeez since the, the arcade since you could go right, together and play right, like yeah right. each other, talking, right talking shit uh what was the first online game you played fuck diablo i think okay og diablo diablo 2 yes <laughs> not not yahoo uh checkers no i did that after diablo actually because i that, that that was when i had my own computer and i'm like mm -hmm. i want to play poker against people oh dude yeah, i do want to hear back uh <laughs> drop me a comment in the video uh what was the first online game you played it doesn't even have to be on linux i'm trying to think what was the first online game you played on linux there we go Open never winter nights <laughs> quake Qu had to been quake or doom I remember because uh, I, I was on the netbook, Asus uh, AAA 10.05HA, uh, and it was, I was running either Linux Mint or Ubuntu 9.04 or something, and I got Neverwinter Nights working, and I could connect to a server with all the expansions and everything, and it was working, and it was awesome. <laughs> Strange. We don't even think about it. Like, um, you'll never... Don't listen to anybody that like pines for the days of having to deal with like game spy and shit. Those suck. That, I was on dial up at the time, game so spy. I was I was dreading someone like calling the house. Dude, I had a, a game spy CLI in curses thing that like because you you needed that shit. We didn't have a central repository, and you had to put, manually punch in fucking IP addresses. You wonder how come old people can key in IPv4 so quick? Shit like that, man. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This is the chief reason why IPv6 hasn't taken off. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, well, uh, everything's going to be in the show notes. There'll be a link to it. And if you, if you want to go see the cheaters, but the cheaters going to cheat. They don't give a shit. Like, whatever. But, you know, hey, I mean, if somebody's cheating, report that fucking thing. There's a link to their Steam fucking profile. But, like, let's cheat or make cheaty cheats. Because fuck those people. Right? Yeah. 
and 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 like you, you know may, maybe maybe one day we might actually see some like integrations with this so like if someone pops into your lobby they'll have a little red highlight because they're a known cheater or whatever what's worse a cheater like somebody who's obviously fucking cheating or somebody that's just that much better than you I can accept people being better than me. I mean, like, on the... I think both of those feel pretty bad, but but, once it's demonstrated that it's like, okay, uh, that person's cheating, that uh is worse, because it's like, you know that they're cheating, they're not that good. So, so I, 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 I guess it, I guess it depends, though, because it also feels bad when, like, someone just, like, fucking steps inside your brain and, like, perfectly counters your shit online, and you're just like... God damn it. That that I'm okay with. I'm used to losing. <laughs> yeah, no, but, 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 so, but at, least, at, least, at least if you're cheating. Listen, you're, I'm you're, just you're, saying. They're cheating. Uh, your ego can like be cushioned a Jordan little bit. Jordan takes tic-tac-toe very seriously. <laughs> I, I will stab a motherfucker with my tics and you tics. Cut. I'm going to stick your head through one of the holes and... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's move on from that to... Uh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Owen Wilson. Wow. PNG. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is Azeroth Core dash uh, otherwise known as Wrath of the Lich King. This is a open source uh, reverse engineered WoW compatible server written in C++, written forked from Mangoes um, from forever ago. Um, this is this is an amalgam of several generations of private WoW ser- servers. And they're saying, like, you know, after, pre-2009, like, we didn't really have a Git history, so we don't really have credits beyond that. But we, we're keeping track of stuff anyways. Man, what um, is with this Blizz-like content? I would expect to hear, like, Randy Rhodes on that. <laughs> yeah, the, the Blizzard of Oz. Absolutely. Uh, but, um, yeah, they're uh, working on making things as compatible as possible. It is very clearly positioned as an educational project, and there's, like, some big scare text at the bottom that says, if you choose to use this project to run an illegal public server and not for testing and learning, then this is your own personal choice. We have learned from the user debacle, it seems. <laughs> um, but, but but yeah, no, this, 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 is, this is really neat, just to, like, uh, if, 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 uh, if you want to like learn how to like build an MMO or see how one is structured or even just get your feet wet with reverse engineering, this is a very cool yes. project for you to take a look at. And it, don't it, use it to I run private WoW servers. That's bad. Okay. <laughs> don't yeah. do that. Drugs are bad. Okay. Because it, it wasn't just uh, Yuzu. It, we, we've had this happen with the uh, other uh, WoW classic servers that people were running by themselves, and Blizzard shut that shit down with the DMCA abuse. So yeah, it's, that was it for people's safety, before. Pedro, not because they were releasing WoW classic. Yeah, oh, um, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, I, it, it's you can't trust those third-party servers. Um, I, I, did, but, I did talk to a friend who uh, has some experience running this type of software, and he was saying um, that the one of the chief differences between this and some of the other offerings out there is this is supposed to be more of a framework. So they're actually like hoping to develop this into its own thing and like have people make original content as opposed to uh, running just orig- uh, original uh, yeah. wild content mods. Love it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe this we, we were talking about game preservation last week. Okay. In mm-hmm. like trying to, you know, auto is it uh, don't kill game. Stop killing stop games. Stop killing games. Dot com. Hashtag stop killing games. Dot yeah. Com. So maybe we, we, an alternate take on this would do like, if we we're going to do the legislative route, maybe just having a blanket get wrecked for reverse engineering efforts, which are legal, at least in North America, the United States. But there's always that bullshit squishy area that like Nintendo tries to come in from like a side angle and like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, uh, encryption circumvention. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. and like everybody fucking knows that. I, I like it's just some blanket coverage on even if they try to come at you like that, it just immediately gets F you bounced out of the court system. Like, no, this is just covered. Like that would be one way because like, let's face it. I'm not like the huge fan of like forcing companies to like with the online stuff. I would really nice if they like pushed it out and gave it to everyone. But you know, long, long sorted history of like create, you know, reverse engineering or reimplementing online services. And you would see more of that if there was the 100% guarantee of your dead ass game that you're never going to revive that a team can get together, organize, build their own site. From the IP, like it's the server end, you know, they're not messing with any of the other reverse shit. Reverse engineering the protocol in the back end. Right. And, stuff. and legally, yeah. nobody yeah. can fuck with them. And that was on the books. I, that would be a good step towards the right direction for game preservation, for, especially for like online games. 
because they started removing the crew this week. They, they started actually removing it from people's accounts. It yeah. From, yeah. Yeah. From people's accounts. They're like, gone. Like that. Like you can't. It, it's not even the you can't play Grazie. the game anymore. Bonjour. You're yeah. going to so actively much revoke your license that you paid us money for. And the you paid for that license. You might That's not why have I bought it on PS4 product. Uh, but you paid for that license, and now they're stealing that license away from can you. you. Pl- can, so. Is there a PS? Yeah, you can play it on the. Wait, is there a PS4 emulator? No. Uh, there's or, a couple of uh, there, there, projects there, there, there that are starting them. But yes, yes, yes I yeah, don't I, think this, this is where I'm like, I'm, like, playable I'm curious because Souls. like the crew was available like on I know at least the PS4. I don't know about the X360, X1, X1, X. <laughs> it was on the consoles. Yes. I don't yeah. know which one exactly. But what, what are they doing in that? Like, can they just plug it in and then it's like, well, it doesn't work because I can't connect online. I don't, I don't know. I didn't do any the, research. The servers are shut down. So yeah, you can't play the game because right. you can't even get in game at all without it. So Ubisoft is going out of their way to be an extra deck, not even to allow you to keep your collector's item. Correct. Yep. They want to try and get the game files away from the reverse engineers. To stop That's how that works. People. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm on Team Force companies to dump their server code because yeah. fuck them. Why not? <laughs> yeah. The, or, you know, just make make it so you have a switch when you're building the game. You have a switch. It's like, OK, we're switching off the servers. Everything is offline now. Done. It It's a lot easier to implement if you're doing that during development and it doesn't really cost you that much extra but because Pedro, you're Pedro, just hi, saying it's hi, like hi, hey if the server isn't there just don't as, as uh <laughs> i just got a job at ubisoft and i, I gotta tell you we we, we got uh, issues now though no, because we, we've determined that if we allow you to go through with your open source server you there might be an instance where you're able to charge people money for it and that would really upset us so Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> See, uh, that, that, to, even to, to, freaking <laughs> electronic arts of, you know, the greedy corporations, the greedy AAA publishers, electronic arts knows about Soapbox Race World. They know that the, like, reverse engineered uh, resurrection, community driven resurrection of Need for Speed World is a thing. And they haven't done anything about it. E- EA is also a weird wild card because they were also supporting. Yeah, um, EA is open- large enough to have different. It's like Microsoft, dude. There's there's yeah, cool they, they, people for, 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 the, for the command and conquer shit where they're just like, yeah, we're going to make yeah. it compatible with that. We'll we'll hand that off to you guys. So I'm I, listen, I'm not one to sing EA's praises. Sometimes they do a chaotic good move, but, but, but for the most the part, they're the, chaotic evil. Of all the companies, you have Ubisoft being stupid about it. And on the other hand, you have EA just going, eh, yeah, as long as no, you're not no, charging no, no, access no for it. Eh. E- EA is as <laughs> shitty as people say, but they can also help the open source community. Two things can be true at the same time. No, yes. <laughs> no I only work at Absolute. The Seth <laughs> motherfucker in me. Ah, uh, ultimate power. Uh, get Spock, get Rack, Dual Shock, You Shock, We Shock, Web Shock. Ah. That's what? <laughs> I, I, I went to hold hold it up, but I realized I realized too late that it was still plugged in. Oh no! Something it was plugged into went flying. <laughs> Why are we talking about all of this shocking? Because we can now do calibration in the browser. That's right. Connect your Dual Shock Four V One or V Two or Dual Sense. You can read the firmware. You can wizard it to recenter the analog sticks. Recalibrate the range of the sticks to make them longer, shorter, tall. Maybe not so tall. And it auto detects. If the DS4 is original or a clone, which <laughs> it's 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 in which? beta. <laughs> I wonder if we can do a live demonstration. All right, if we go offline, it's because I'm fucking around in production. Okay, that connected. All mm-hmm. right. Actually, speaking of the one, the one thing that uh, that shook okay. me was the um, if you uh, switch between wired and wireless, it still uh-huh. authorizes as the same device. I, right. I would have expected it would have been like, oh, this is a wired controller, this is a wireless controller, but it flags it as the same thing, which is pretty cool. Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, is my DualShock Four V fuck ever. Now, I went out of the way; I didn't order this on Amazon because even back when I ordered this a couple of years ago, I had zero faith in being able, even a new in box one, because they were making fake boxes too. Oh yeah, yeah. I got this physical fucking retail at the Walmarts. Like, 
Like mm-hmm. if this is a fake one, that deserves to be faked on me. And <laughs> they, they scammed Walmart, not you. Yeah, right. I'm like, I did everything possible. And yeah, it was like, it's good. I, I assume I've never had a PS4 controller. It feels legit. Doesn't look shaky. You know, it doesn't say phony on it anymore. No, I plugged it in. Oh, let's go over to the um, browser here. And I'm like, okay, let's go click on that. Understood. Let's connect this bad boy. Wireless controller. Womp womp. DS4 clone. All it is functionality clone. is disabled. <laughs> no. Boba <laughs> Fett. I'm your clone, clone baby. No, 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 no. I am you and you are me and we are clones. <sighs> you know what? What did this result in? Well, first I'm like, damn it. <laughs> I, I went through a lot of work to make sure that this wasn't, you know, I, I, what it really resulted in was like 20 minutes of me perusing different YouTube videos. How, of like, how to validate your, right, your, your what's yeah. real, what's not. Then checking the Reddit post with the images and a being that and reading serial codes, finding the box. This damn thing came in checking that to match serial weighing it as we were talking about drug scales earlier broke that out and then at that point i was like 100 percent, 97 percent positive it wasn't a knockoff and if it was a knockoff i had already made peace of like that's the best damn knockoff to where it doesn't make any difference man because i so i don't think i could tell the right? stuff like, like outside of cracking it open and uh then i just plugged it in and it went oh that's legit just fucking with you <laughs> Yeah, it, it it does say the counterfeit thing is in progress, so yes. may, may, yeah. maybe it doesn't have all the Bluetooth controller IDs. And, and like when it does say that, it should have like big blinky things of like just plug it in, fucko, and mm-hmm. check. Uh, Wh- which is a good idea because you're actively fucking with the firmware here. Uh, you're writing stuff to the controller, so you want yes, but that the, reliability. Okay. In, in this case, this was USB mini whatever bullshit connector micro. Yeah, yeah like <laughs> you, you, you got to go find your peasant ass friend that still has one of those laying around. I have two of them always connected to the USB. I, hub. I had to go to that one charger <laughs> on the breakfast nook in the kitchen that still has that one cable <laughs> and steal that bitch to come in here and plug it in. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I I tried with the um the Dual Shock Four and the I didn't even think of doing it over Bluetooth because again writing shit to the firmware it didn't even occur to me to do well, it over you don't, Bluetooth. You don't have to write stuff to the firmware unless you press the button to write stuff to the firmware. Yes, but I was just like, okay, if something you, is you weird can't help about it. You, the... you see you see a button, you gotta press it. <laughs> you're you're fucking James it's Holden, just... man. If it does something, then I'd rather be, you know, guaranteed that it's plugged in, it's charging and doing whatever. So, See, yeah, both the, the, the we, We're not the same, and, Pedro. I, I like to fucking start a BIOS update and pull the fucking APC power of the wall. <laughs> Just start peeing on your computer in the middle of it. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, no, I plugged in both the DualShock 4 and the DualSense, and it read them no issues. So, uh, oh, yeah, no, oh. I, I, I'd say it works. <laughs> I got one. If you put like a bottle of Diet Pepsi next to your computer, or a diet bottle of Diet Coke, and you start a and you start a BIOS update, and you drop a Mentos, will the BIOS <laughs> update finish before the bo- the bottle no, no. empties? Y- you put it next to the computer, and then you go to the other side of the room and try to p- <laughs> a score a, a Mentos yeah, just tr- just try and, into yeah. the bottle. <laughs> I plugged it in. It does the things. You know, I didn't write the changes to it, but I mean, it's good. And you, then you can go to the other website, and make sure it was it. Mine was already centered enough where it's good and you're probably thinking but the shit's built into steam and you're right just like this is just like an alternate tool it's cool it's cool that we can do it on the web well mm-hmm. and and like as, as we're, we're, we're talking about game streaming a lot uh, yeah. as things go forward Behold browser integrations as future right yeah but the, the, this this kind of shit is going to be crucial these uh, gamepad apis for browsers um web gpu we saw like uh Valorant was leveraging that as well web we're not going to be using a, controllers we're going to be using nintendo power socks that's it's still it's still a controller. It's still I still gotta plug my USB C into it or pair it over Bluetooth. Blue sock. Oh, be careful uh, plugging the USB C into your uh, sock. <laughs> it might go down the hole. <laughs> was it socks? It was the Crocs Pringle uh, holder, which is a real product now. A cr- a Crocs Pringle holder. You said. Yeah. Oh, the one uh, that you because put it's in like your... an ankle bracelet filled yeah. with diabetes. Right. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, you're not going to, I don't think you can get diabetes from fucking eating. Yo, yo, you want to throw down? Let's go. 
I mean, you uh, I think shit I'll have to you that you Let's can go. probably get diabetes. Yes. <laughs> I, yeah, you're. you're I, I think. I think other. You're gonna have other problems before you hit that point. But anyways, uh, ladies no, and gentlemen. It, yep. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say. Yeah. No. Uh, gaming in the browser. It's a, it's a thing. It's cool. And I'm actually being for... able, if you have a controller, the, you have a dual sense or a dual shock that has a little bit of stick drift, this will let you fix it without having to physically unsolder uh, the... Um... Pedro, these sticks don't drift, all right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not AI generated. That's a legitimate that's... product that we can purchase. I uh... want one. <laughs> I, I, I want someone to like jump rope while wearing them and just like spray <laughs> chips everywhere. I, 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 dude, I, I want to fucking walk in a store with that shit. Just wait for somebody to just, just kind of side eye me. Stop, reach down. No, 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 no. You, you walk up to the counter, you fucking swing a leg Boom. on top, <laughs> and then you the pull a chip out and make, eat it while you're making eye contact with the cashier. Be like, uh, <laughs> Crocs and Pringles. All right. Okay. <laughs> I, I still, I'm still wowed by that, the fact that, that every time I go to the local Crocs. mall, there is a like, like at least 20 person lineup at the fucking croc store to get in <laughs> it baffles me i just want a pair of flip-flops man like, right, you're, you're already in a bizarro world where there's 20 people at a mall it's a big mall that's yeah i mean I, I, not so big malls here in cambridge there's a lot of people in there uh, <laughs> yeah. one of like the largest malls in the world is in atlanta that place is a fucking ghost town <laughs> Okay. I think it's probably uh, that, that, also that, a size ratio thing. It's I, it's I mean, so I mean, that, I mean that, that, that's nice for that mall in Atlanta, I guess. The one I go to is pretty crowded. Or I don't know statistically, across North America, malls have been closing at an alarming rate for the past 20 years. But there's a, yeah, yeah like I said, it's surprising there's, there's, there's 20 people, people at a mall. I was impressed. <laughs> yeah. Take a fucking it's, compliment. God they're damn. all old people, they're walking around. <laughs> Old people yeah, can't wear no, Crocs. Uh, They're here, not allowed. It, there's a lot of students, <laughs> both the Grafton and the Grand <laughs> you, Arcade. You have to stop them. A lot now of we students. Need croc roller skates. <laughs> roller skates. Roller Crocs. Croc Heelys. Croc Heelys. Croc Duds. Creelys. You got the Cree Crees? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a Linux gaming podcast. So yeah, we're, it we're, was we're at gonna, some point. <laughs> we're going to get not right into the <laughs> Linux gaming part feedback section. If you want to get in touch with us, uh, just head over to linuxemcast.com. We've got a contact button. Fill it out. Send us an email. We'll read it, maybe, on this very show. Leave a comment on the YouTube video. We go over that. And if you're one of our beautiful, gorgeous, super, not slimy, but, you know, maybe Creamy. a bit moist party Creamy. patrons, drop a post and some comments on this one. And uh, we'll definitely get back to you one way or the other. But last week... We dare talk and say, you know what, Steam and Valve, not literally the devil, Jordan. Li not not actual Satan, no. for sure. And uh, Jacob agrees with us. Uh, they write in and say, a lot of the things you guys mentioned regarding Valve and Steam is exactly why I went from hater to fan over the past year and a half. I hated Steam and Valve for most of my life, mostly for pushing, uh, mostly pushing for GOGs. But Valve has won me over massively thanks to the things you mentioned here and the other things as well. I still love GOG for being DRM, DRM free, for being its DRM free side, but Valve isn't pushing DRM as bad as I thought. And the overall experience of using Steam is just so much better than what GOG offers, even with their Galaxy client, which I do like, but it's not on Linux. I genuinely thought I'd never, I'd never give Valve any credit, but here I am praising them as one of the closest things we have to a good guy in the industry. How things change with perspective. I also have to agree. We need a sequel to the Steam controller. I never got a chance to get one, but I'd gladly buy one if I can right now. I'm saving for a Steam Deck, though. I need one of those, but the cash isn't saving fast enough. Do you know what I mean? Haha. <laughs> yeah, I spend a lot of money on drugs, too. It no. it's, it's, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah, it, it is unfortunate that uh, Valve is the best that we can celebrate. I wish we had like three or four different companies that we could say, yeah, these are all great. Unfortunately, it's just Valve. I mean, Valve just wins by default again, by not doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> Valve, you know what? At, at a time, like Valve had, there were other companies that were like equally just kind of neutral. And so, yeah, it was easy to hate on fucking Valve. You're like, oh, it's stupid. It's bad. Then all these, they just went hard on the evil thing. And Valve just kind of stuck around. They're like, yeah, we're just going to maintain this level. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. The, the, like every everyone else just kind of took a nosedive in terms of like ev- evil rankings, and right. Alpha is just like so. So yeah, I I, I guess it it is real. It is very much perspective when you get like fucking Ubisoft uh, removing uh, removing games from people's uh, accounts or a or EA with their with their job cuts and work hours, right? Like as 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 things get worse and worse and worse, Valve continues to just be okay. <laughs> That's better than everyone else. Yeah, I mean. Uh, yeah right pedro right <laughs> that's the, the that's the thing I was, it's, I, a, it's a very pedro, low bar pedro, I think you meant. They, they, they cross it <laughs> you have the bad examples so many bad examples like jordan already mentioned and you have not even to get started with activision <laughs> yeah <laughs> because it's not just ubisoft that had the sexual assault allegation no 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 <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is, you, we've seen just how bad the gaming industry can be, and Valve has continually delivered what they've delivered, basically since they fixed Steam, because when Steam came out, it was shit. Everyone hated Steam, with good reason, it wasn't very good, and it was green. (laughs) Yeah, that, mind, uh, like, uh, the, fucking haters, the, the visionaries, the <laughs> smart kids looked at it and went, yeah, digital distri- distribution that uh, a lot of us, you know, if you didn't know anything about piracy at the time, that was your first experience with digital distribution. <laughs> now, for, so, yeah, <laughs> uh, that was a, uh, but that that's the future. You know, this is one of the things, man. It's that barrier to enter. What did we do before the show started? I was trying to fucking find my game library on the Epic store through the web you can't do that it's not an option it's not there like just th- this is this is <laughs> this is what valve's up against okay i mean like you can't make that up that's a not a joke incompetence <laughs> and he- here we are man here we are then, yes okay compared to gog gog's all right i don't have a problem with gog i buy stuff on gog i primarily use gog for good old games like when i need uh resource files why because i'm old i don't have time to go over to pirate proxy dot cx dot whatever and like fuck it i just like three bucks give me the files and mm-hmm. let me extract them so i can play this open source re-implementation um yeah each to their own will we ever see something different probably i mean i thought maybe discord was going to throw down for a minute but discord's like has too much work no we we, we just want to serve you ads now mm. <laughs> yes <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want to serve you ads right now? Uh, that's, that, try that, that is, that using is, the internet that is the without sad, an ad true, blocker true, these that? days. <laughs> I'll tell like, you who. Me. Head over to interfacinglinux.com <laughs> if you're curious about Linux content production. I ain't got no ads on that website. None. Everything's there. Watch it for free. Now, there's probably some ads on the YouTube thing, but you probably got those disabled. Anyway, also, this commercial ain't really a commercial. It's a thank you. To all of our beautiful party patrons supporting this show, making this happen at patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. That was a pretty fucking slick segue, wasn't it? I thought it was. Sure. Give me like seven out of ten. No moral uh, support uh, from uh, these uh, motherfuckers. Uh, 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 seven point one. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was a segue, so I was just going to let you go. A segue. All right. <laughs> uh, I was wait- Peer approval. I was looking for some scorecards as a soliciting feedback. You, 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 you okay, get the we're going to need the scorecards first. Then. <laughs> Uh, do, I, I don't have a, I, I have a pencil. I don't have a piece of paper. <laughs> I like how Pedro just immediately veers directly to like, what gets me out of doing thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like minimum. The branch prediction. At that point. Like, like, yeah, exactly. You're like, you're dead if I designed the maze, homie. <laughs> <laughs> patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. you can get this show commercial free and downloadable format in a higher quality than you can get on youtube and that goes same for weekly daily wednesdays you get the live and uncut the pre pre super shows and access to our discord access to our show notes and a whole lot more go check it out if you want a buck a week a thousand bucks a week you name it we got different levels with different the, the, rewards the, the second one please that would be nice ten thousand dollars <laughs> we, we have a corporate <laughs> overlord tier so if you're running a company and you effectively want to run a non-commercial commercial on the show. Yeah. Yeah. You could just it, buy it's us that out. fucking PBS <laughs> bullshit. You know, yeah. this, this is episode brought, brought, brought to you by, to you your, by. viewers right. like you. Yeah. Right. Uh, Uncle Slappy's mattress, <laughs> shock Pringle skates. I don't know, man. No, we do appreciate. Uh, Pringle escape. 
come hang out with us. The other six, this conversation just keeps on rolling. And um, <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's pretty cool. And again, uh, you know, this is probably the last time I'll mention it. What, interfacing analytics. Give me a sub. Subscribe, please. YouTube.com slash interfacing analytics. At interfacing analytics, because it's a little bitch ass YouTube channel right now. I know the difference now. Uh, I know the difference now. I learned. I would greatly appreciate that. That is stuff that hopefully I'm going to be able to fight the good fight on that side because uh, there's just a big gaping hole in like metrics and uh, hardware reviews on Linux. And maybe we can fill some of that in. I'll give it a shot anyway. All right, beautiful people. That's going to do it. Uh, I want to thank uh, Don M for that 40 month, 41 month resub. Woo! <laughs> All right. Speaking of patrons, let's cue the music. Do a little bit Hashtag of outro. Hashtag Tina's Crabs. Yeah. Watch your name Five credits. Dudes with crabs. <laughs> if you want to get in touch with me, I'm still on X. Well, I'll still give it to you uh, at Vin Stone doing that thing. Federated timeline on the Mastodons. Mast.linuxemcast.com at Vin over there and of course just add vin on blue sky dot sky social whatever the hell that is and you know i'm in discord i'm in the irc just uh you could at me bro i might even get back to you i'm a very farty boy today you don't have to smell me though if you follow me on mastodon at Ma- frojo at mastodon at schemecast.com at frojo at bsky.app or at the burning fool on twitter at sky.b sky.b that that's it Skibbity Just social, <laughs> Skib- skibbity mastodon. The last social, if there if there is a skibbity toilet uh, mastodon dun, dun, instance, dun, I might create an account dun, there. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Typhus is great. It's poggers. Well, we got to thank all the people making this show helpful. possible. <laughs> You're, I mean, you're just questionable in general. We got to thank our advisors, Omegas and Artherum, our executive producers, Barb Bram, Scott Michaud, Atomicast, Mike G, Tomaj, David, Eshep, Ian, Kurducky, one, two, three, four, five, not six, and our little Nikki fans, Super Desto, Empty, King Bonj, and Eggy. And the Sea Monsters with No Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritan, Uda, Justin, Darkwing, System D, Thessing, Joe, DeKresny, and Ogi One with the Death Notes, Nova, Chad, Romeo, Ray, Leonardo, Kim, Chris, Stephen, Jill, Benjamin, Doom Do Dot Watch, Stephen B, Beck, Dodger, Zeno, Rue, Turnover, Pebble, M Fox Dog, Swine, Jalou, and Piper. Look at that. And all the cheerlings, like even with F- your lowercase I, which is this is a typo that I'm not gonna Craig fix. Craig H and Belric <laughs> and Monica and Unoid. And of course, Blasphemia. find upstanding cannibals, Carl Mike, Arthur, and Linux Neurodius, John, uh Noctilus, E Chef, Gametron, DSN Joe, Aromatic Dev, Kai Jore, one last be uh, these two and beautiful Casey Yahoos Clinton. have. Thank I'm trying much. to give you a plug, shut up. <laughs> Amazon wish list over at LinuxTeamCast.com. If you click on their wish list, you pick them up something, send them a note. They got to fucking read it on air. There's no yeah. way out of it. So make sure it's good. Something that'll get them in trouble. And they'll have to mentally censor why they visually don't. I'm just going to shove those Snickers bars in my mouth and read the note. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Surprise <laughs> diabetes. Told you. All right. Die to fire, everyone. We'll see you next week. Toodles. Bye-bye. Oodles of toodles. Would would you fucking try this uh, cereal called Oodles of Toodles? Five dudes. <laughs>